Hey y'all, this is Carol Norby. You're at my Stampin' Carol page on Facebook. This day has flown by so fast, I looked up and I go, oh my gosh, it's already time to start. In fact, I'm a little, little late. So I am trying to connect right now on my tablet to watch where my hands are. Oh, this gets real exciting, I think, maybe. You know, why is it when you do this, your page always goes black. <laughs> we'll try it again. Today, I've been think I've seen some of the best tags on some of our groups lately. There I go. And there it stops. Yeah, this is funny. It's just not wanting to. No, not what there we go. Anyway, I've seen some gorgeous tags on Facebook on our Facebook pages, uh, fellow ex coaches. Yeah, that's really hard to say. Huh, yes. Anyway, I decided to play a little bit today, and I thought, you know, this would make a cool idea. And though I don't have all the numbers handy for what I, uh, itchy nose allergies, the bloom, broom brush is starting to bloom. So we have white cotton starting to fly, and it's like, oh. Anyway, so. Anyway, I'm going to play a little bit with some ideas. I have not made anything yet. I'm just giving you some ideas using some of our products um, just to play. You know, um, now that I'm an affiliate for Fun Stampers Journey and Spellbinders, I am free to use other product. Though I don't have a lot of other product. When I joined Fun Stampers Journey almost four years ago, I got rid of a lot. Um, I did not want, I, I kept my favorites. But anyway, I'm going to flip you over. Now, my phone's going to wobble. I'm sorry. The lamp I was using that would stabilize the cord on my holder died. But I'm not surprised. I've had it for almost 20 years. It was a travel ought light. It folded down to close and turn off, and then you fold it open, and it would turn on. It refuses to turn off. On. I'm going to investigate the light bulb. Um, that's a possibility. So anyway, here we go. Hang on. I, I try not to wobble. I can't guarantee it. Yes. Okay. A little wobble there. This is where the wobble is going to be. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a shadow. Oh, not too bad. Okay. Right there. Okay. I am playing today with um i got this coolest die from spellbinders it's called woodland deer um it's on sale right now uh, but it's cute and i played with it a little bit i this is the first time i've used it so i i die cut it and also embossed using oatmeal cookie and then the antlers I did in hazelnut blend. And then I thought, okay, that looks cool. I'm trying to pick up pieces here. My fingers don't want to work. I cut a tag out of, oh, hang on. I got to turn down my music. I have Christmas music playing because of this video. Have to admit, I don't like that song. Okay. I don't know where they... For Christmas classics, I'm not too pleased with it. Okay, there we go. So, um, I cut this using, this is a die, and it's funny, I had it right here. There it is. It's a steel rule die tag set right here. I do not have the, the number handy, and it's funny, it's not wrote on here. Usually it is. But it's going to start with an SR for steel rule when you're um, on the website. This is cut from a piece of very retired cardstock. We used to have 6x6 pads, and that's what that is from. And then I also cut a snowflake. Now this snowflake is from uh, Frosty Snowflake Die, DI0469. I'm not even sure if it's available. I haven't looked that close. I was just grabbing stuff out of my stock. And originally, I cut the snowflake out of some glitter glitter paper. 
yeah there's still there is a shadow I've got to work with that a little bit see if I can turn that ah shake rattle and roll is that any better I don't know anyway I cut it out of glitter paper and I stuck it on here and I go nope I don't like that I'll use that for something else but I thought you know if you're make you want to do some fast tags you could always die cut this put it on there you could layer your deer anywhere here you may want to color in his eyes because he looks a little little blind <laughs> and then as to the antlers if you want them on or not you can you can add them just bring him down a little bit add them and you can write your to and from down here and we have lots of different threads we have journey thread silver gold um, all kinds of threads so there's an idea on that one then I got to playing with a set that's new to me I, I hemmed and hawed about getting it it's called winter build a scene AT-0333 it's got a lot of little pieces little pieces and I'm missing oh there's the words I didn't clean them I stamped them and didn't clean them I had them sitting on my on my rag ready so lots of little pieces so you can see there's oodles there lots of lots of and you can also purchase the winter build a scene die set now if you go online and look up winter you'll see both of these if you search that is search for winter you'll find both of these there so that's just really cool so then I die cut some more tags and I thought okay there's one still using the steel rule out of oatmeal cookie and here's one from our whipped cream and I thought well what if okay what if I need to add some stuff so I also die cut some trees stamped and die cut trees a deer here's a pickup I have not yet um, colored it and even a snowman I thought you know they would be cute. So I thought, okay, so then you need to make snow. So I thought, okay, I tore a piece of paper. There's that. I have my, find it, lovely blue, because I want a hint. This may not be enough, but I thought I'll just stick. Put, huh. You know, I really don't like this music station <laughs> for Christmas. So I thought, okay, what if we do this? Can you see what I'm doing? I'm not sure if it's dark enough. Nope. I'm going to have to go just a hint darker. Go to pull place. So I've got to change out my dauber. So, see, I when you're experimenting, you just never know. You just never know. So I will change out my dauber and get pull play out. And let's see, pull play. I have a a big uh, container that I keep this stuff in. Okay, that looks. There's my color, and I try to do my colors, um, sort my colors, so that I don't get them too. Uh, I, I don't want to contaminate my pads. Okay, so we'll try this again. Ah, there's a little bit more color. Okay. There, that kind of looks like snow. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe you need a tree. Or not a tree. There's clouds in the sky. So I cut out a cloud uh, shape out of Cloud Dreams, DI-0032. I thought, okay, what we can do, and I'm just going to kind of come off and hold it down and again just come around dab off a little bit maybe I'm getting too much so there's a cloud we'll do a cloud over here so then we'll just I don't want too close because then I will take out that cloud okay this is getting interesting. 
Like I said, I'm I'm just experimenting. This is an experiment day. I'm not. I did not have anything really planned. Uh, per se, I just wanted to play. So I'm going to add a little bit more color. Kind of reminds me a little bit of cloudy skies, you know. Okay, so there's that. I'll put the label or the cover back on. Can you see it okay? I'm trying to watch where my hands are. I don't always succeed. So then, different things you can do. You can also come back and add a piece of torn cardstock also and maybe roll the ends over. It'll look a little bit like snow. And you can add some glitter to it and do that. Um, there's one thing. Okay, so we've got kind of land. So what if you layered, just 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 playing here, you know, it's, it's fun to just play, fun to just play. You can layer these here and then use a foam, foam to lift him up, and then write your two from up here. You can also do that and add your snowman and use some of our sparkle silk and color down here, or... What if you layer your trees? And I didn't color my truck yet. You all know what I think about trucks. Let's take that off. And you can actually have him getting the tree. Isn't that kind of cool? So there's that thought. And you can always bring this in. I stamped and die cut that. That can go anywhere you want. And then I had another thought the trees back here. I found in my stash that I've not used for over a year these Snow Friend stickers that I got way back when that I thought, man, those are cool. So what if, and I will open this up. I actually got two packages of this. I think they were a free gift with purchase type thing. It's just been so long. I've been going through my uh, stash and just looking to see what I have of it. Oh man, they're stuck in that envelope. I'm going to have to open that with scissors. I can't can't get it open. Okay. So, you know, you can Oh, and there's just one. Okay. So, looks like to me you can color these. So, wouldn't that be pretty in the middle of there? Or any of these you can build a scene almost with these. Look at that. Uh, um so, you know, you can look through your stickers and see what you have. Look through your papers and see what you have. It's a lot of different ideas here. Um, just play. Just play. And um, I do have a Pinterest account. I do have some stuff shared there that you can look at. I'm also on Instagram. And you can also go to my... Um, my website, www.stampandcarol.com. I'm going to flip you back now. This is just a short and sweet video. See, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So um, you can look around. There's so much inspiration out on the web. Ah, just shakes. i got to figure out what I'm going to do with this light. Find another bulb for that old one or else it's just dead. So, um... Anyway, search around, play. Uh, you know, even if you go to a thrift store, sometimes they'll have stamps and stuff. They'll, you know, I'd really prefer you buy from me. <laughs> but who wouldn't? You know, this is my business. This is my business. So I want to thank you for stopping by. I will uh, finish out these tags, take pictures, and everything will be over on YouTube later. Um, they'll also be on my website tomorrow. Today is, um, my desk is showing. You can see it in a previous post today, also here on Facebook. <laughs> I was really busy yesterday. Yeah, plus I vacuumed and all kinds of, today I did some more vacuuming. So it's been a long day. I've got clothes in the dryer. It's time to come out. Huh, yeah, so anyway, I want to thank you for coming by. Uh, there will be no video on Friday. Dean and I are going into Tucson. He has to get his physical taken for his DOT medical card so he can keep his CDL license. Can you believe it? He's 72 years old and he works six days a week. Yeah. 
But then again, we've been farmers all our lives. There's no pension. There's no, yeah, we're saving money like crazy just to help with retirement. So anyway, <laughs> such is life. It's an adventure. So anyway, thank you for coming by. Check out my YouTube uh, channels, uh, youtube.com slash Carol Norby. This will be there unedited. And um, we'll see you later. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.